Welcome once again to the Low Country Food Bank's Cooking Matters in Our Community Education Series. Hey there, my name is Mallory and I'm a dietetic intern with the Low Country Food Bank. Today I was challenged to take this $10 and build a meal that incorporates all five food groups of my plate. So that's fruit, vegetables, protein, grains, and dairy. By only spending $10 on my meal, I'm freeing up money for other things that I need, such as gas and utilities. Making every dollar count during these times is very important. After I plan out my meal, I'm going to the grocery store and I'm bringing you along with me. A great way to build a balanced meal on a budget is to consult online sales flyers like I have pulled up here, or you can go into your actual grocery store and pick up a sales flyer. I also have my grocery store's website pulled up because they do online shopping and I can check prices there while I'm making my list. I've been craving a burrito bowl lately, so I'm going to use the online sales flyer, their website, and this worksheet that you can download below to help you build your own $10 meal to help me build my $10 meal and make sure I'm hitting that bottom line. So first on my list is grains. I'm going to choose brown rice because I know it's a whole grain and it has fiber to keep me full longer than other types of rice. And I also have it pulled up here on my grocery website and I can see the price. The next item on my list is fruit. I don't think fruit would go very well in a burrito bowl. What about you? But I think I could have it for dessert. So I'm going to choose canned peaches. Canned fruit is a great option because it lasts longer than fresh fruit. And it's also more affordable if you're looking for a fruit that's not in season. So I'm gonna check the price and write that down. Next is vegetables. And I see on my online sales flyer that green bell peppers are on sale, which makes sense because they're in season and in season produce is usually cheaper. And green bell peppers are going to be so good in this. Next up on my list is protein. I want to choose an affordable protein that will also last me different meals. Bulk dried beans fit that description because they'll last me more than one meal. I can season them however I want in different meals. Plus they're packed with fiber, so they're going to keep me full. And I'm also looking up on the website. Only $1.68 a pound. The last item on my list is dairy. A burrito bowl isn't complete without sour cream, but sour cream contains the kind of fats that we should avoid. So I'm looking for a slightly better option. What I'm looking for is 1% or non-fat. So I think Greek yogurt is the best option here. It's a great substitute for sour cream. And I can also find it 10 for $10 at a lot of grocery stores. It will also go really well with my canned peaches for dessert. Now that my list is complete, it looks like I'm still under $10, so I have room to add more things if I would like. I'm going to add more veggies as toppings to my bowl. So I'm choosing a tomato, an onion, and some lettuce. Now my list is actually complete and I'm ready to go to the grocery store. I'll see you there. I'm here in the grocery store and I've got my list. When I grocery shop, I like to start in the produce section to see what's on sale. Quick tip, produce that's in season is usually more affordable. I got my green pepper. These look wonderful because they're in season. Now I just need to grab my tomato, my onion, and my lettuce, and I'm gonna head over to the grains. So follow me. When I look at grains, I always make sure to read the back and make sure it says whole grain is the first ingredient. This brown rice fits the bill. Plus, there's enough in this bag to last me multiple recipes. Can you think of other ways I can use this rice? All right, now let's head over to the beans. Come on. Okay, I'm over here in the beans, and I found my dried pinto beans in bulk. Like I said, I'm choosing these because I get more servings versus buying in a can. There's 13 servings in these, and there's only 3.5 in a can. Plus, I can season these however I want to. All right, time to head to our next aisle. Come on.
I'm over here at the fruit and I've got my peaches. The variety can be overwhelming, but notice I got the kind canned and 100% juice because there's no added sugar. That's very important when you're looking at canned fruit. Onto our dairy. All right, now I've got my Greek yogurt and this is gonna pack a powerful protein punch. Say that 10 times fast. It's time to check out and go home and cook this delicious meal. Back home now and I went ahead and prepared my burrito bowl and my parfait. So my total at the grocery store was $7.63 for all of the groceries I bought. But if I calculate just the cost of this meal, it's $1.76. Compare that to how much a burrito bowl and a parfait would cost if you eat out. The burrito bowl alone would be at least $10. That's incredible savings. So when I made my burrito bowl, I went ahead and made the beans and the rice in bulk since they take a while to cook and I froze the extras so I can use them later in the week or next month even if I want to. In this video, I've shown you how to build a balanced meal that includes all five food groups for under $10. And I've also shared some tips about how you can buy in bulk and reuse ingredients for meals later on. There's so many options at the grocery store. Do you think you could build a balanced meal for under $10? Well, I challenge you to give it a try and post on social media and show us what you made or leave a comment down below to let me know. I am ravenous, so I'm gonna go devour this meal and look out next week for the next Cooking Matters in Your Community video. For more information and recipes, visit lowcountryfoodbank.org slash nutrition. And to learn where our food pantries and feeding partners are, visit lowcountryfoodbank.org and click find help.